This season is definitely one of the most fun seasons to play, and having the best controller settings is going to help you guys stay on top. But your crush Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. And today, I want to show you the best controller settings and sensitivity that you can use to win every game in Season 7. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. In the previous seasons, the shotgun meta kept changing back and forth, but this season has brought us a completely new meta. This season, guys, the pumps and tacks are staying, and the lever shotgun is back. But don't get too excited, as this meta will still take you some time to learn, and your controller settings will have a huge impact on how you play. Obviously, pumps are not as overpowered as they were back in Season 4, so you gotta train your aim. This season, you wanna have a sensitivity that gives you the best accuracy, and gives you a balance between your building and editing, so you can push and fight to your best ability. The most optimal sensitivity would be a low to medium look and ADS sensitivity, and a medium to high edit and build sensitivity. Editing and building quicker than your opponent is like crucial in a fight as it allows you to get close to them and have the best piece control. And so after that, having lower to medium look sensitivity is the best for being accurate with your shots and helps you finish your fight with ease. Alright, so to be more specific, find your favorite controller player and just copy their settings. And this way guys, you're going to already have some of the most optimal settings to play Season 7. And you know you could just adjust them to your preference. Okay, so along with this, our best settings would definitely be something right in the middle, but not exactly, you know, as we have to really just get a feel for our settings and, and really see which ones help us play the best. So to get a better understanding of this, check out our favorite settings combined from pros and configured for success. These settings are tailored for players who use the linear mode, which is what 80% of controller pros and players in general use now. So linear is just very good, you know, for just close range tracking and accuracy, but it's harder to really track players when they're just further away. Most players agree that mechanics and shotgun aim is just way better on the linear input curve and is really the key to success in competitive modes. Mechanics like ADSing and shotgun aim are just way easier to control in linear and are very important this season. However, many also argue that Exponential is just as good, especially with some of the best controller pros like Reed and Unknown using it as their input curve. Exponential is way harder to control, especially in a solo game mode where you have to really rely on hitting your shots and never really messing up a build or edit. And so for now, make sure to stay on linear and just practice with your new sensitivity till you feel that you're ready. If you're still not able to lock into your enemies, even though you thought that you had everything completely now, make sure to head on over to our website, ProGuides.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite. So, you can just improve really fast. But your crunch Tommy, it's time to get back on the subject. All right, so you might be wondering what each setting is really used for, and we have the answer. First up, controller auto run and build immediately are two settings you need to have on. They allow you to always sprint when fighting and help you place your builds instantly. Edit hold time should always be on the lowest, so you can just edit and build in perfect synchronization. So keep vibration off, as it may be hectic in an in-game or intense fights. Your edit and build mode multipliers make your sensitivity faster by what amount you set it to, and should always be around 2.0, as it allows you to change your speed with ease. Okay, so up next, you should turn on advanced settings. These help you narrow your sensitivity down to the exact percentage. Change your look vertical and horizontal speed to around 40 to 45%, and keep every other setting off in the look sensitivity section as it just tampers with your accuracy. Okay, so look sensitivity is how fast you can move your character around and is the most important setting for having accurate aim. Okay, so ADS settings, which means aim down sights, helps with AR, SMG, and scope weapon aim. So keep the look horizontal and vertical speed at around 7 to 14% as lower ADS sensitivity rewards huge damage. Never use any boosts, man, as they just add acceleration when aiming and tremendously just really impacts how you aim. So right after, there is look dampening time, which should also remain at zero. Keep your look input curve on linear since every single setting corresponds perfectly with linear mode. Okay, so there are also advanced settings that affect your gameplay such as dead zone and aim assist strength. Aim assist strength is obvious and really just means exactly what it shows. Always really just keep your aim assist strength on 100%. Anything under and you're going to have a huge disadvantage against others. Dead zone is a mechanic that allows a small area around the thumbstick to not be detected. And so this allows you to have less stick drift and keeps your aim aligned with your joysticks. You know, there is also one last option, which is a foot controller. So if you don't use a foot controller, which 99% of Fortnite players really don't, <laughs> then keep every setting disabled in the foot controller section. But your course, Tommy, it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we want to know 
what you think is the most overpowered Season 7 weapon on controller. Is it the Charged Sniper Railgun or the Stark Rifle 2.0, the Pulse Rifle? Hey, let us know what you guys think, and we're going to check out every single one of them. All right, back to the video. You know, your controller binds are an important factor on how quickly and efficiently you can play. Every single controller professional has switched over to Builder Pro years ago, and you know, if you haven't, we recommend that you do this as soon as you can. Builder Pro allows you to place every build with the tap of one bind and gives you the most control over your gameplay. Choosing binds is extremely simple on a controller and even if the default settings are optimal for competitive gameplay. So many pros play on default settings with little to no changes but have modded controllers that give them full control while playing. So if you can, spending money on pro controllers such as like the Scuff Impact or Xbox Elite is definitely worth your wallet. So these controllers you really just come with full customizations and come with four paddles on the back of the controller. Paddles are definitely the most useful mod on a controller as they give you four extra buttons that you can press and allows all your fingers to be used at the same time. So if you still need help, you know, figuring out your controller binds, use your resources and find binds that fit you from other professional players. Okay, so a good website to find pro player binds is Pro Settings or simply just look on YouTube. So after you're done copying down these binds, man, and other settings, you need to practice and learn from the best. So a great way of learning and improving on controller is by watching our previous controller videos, all right? Just remember guys, everybody starts at a low point and the player with the best mentality always succeeds, all right? And so if you're having trouble adjusting at first, use this as motivation to practice consistently. I really believe in you guys and I really believe that this is your season, all right? You have to believe it. You have to leave all the disappointments from last season in last season and you have to step in this with a new fresh start, a new fresh mentality and just new fresh dreams of what you can do. And I'm telling you, if you can believe, man, anything is possible. So the new meta has arrived and with it are a bunch of new things to learn, right? You know, even if you're a controller player. And so if you follow the tips that we've gone over in today's video, guys, then I'm sure you're gonna be beaming people out of the game in no time. If you guys liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram. If you want some more motivation, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. Hey, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.